This is the S52X, and I've been using it for the past four months for both photos and video. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how I got my hands on it because it's kind of a fun story. And I'm also going to tell you what I like about it. So it all started when I got a call that would send me out to Seattle to film a big project, a reality show for a brand. Um, now, I was supposed to go out there just to cam op and to do all the aerial work, but uh, the day of filming, we got a call and one of the contestants of the show uh, had to pull out last minute. So the room got pretty quiet. Everyone looked at me and was like, do you want to be on the show? And I said yes. So for three days, I became the talent and I competed with three other filmmakers to see who could make the coolest videos with the S52X. And the show is finally live, so go take a look at that. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Um, I think you'll get a kick out of it. Of course, after that experience ended, I now had a new camera and I have used it a lot. It was my only camera when I went on a trip to Europe. I have shot a ton of client work on it and I've used it on a bunch of personal projects for me and for social media. I'm gonna be straight with you here. I'm not really gonna go into the tech specs of this camera. There are a lot of videos out there who did a much better job than I would, um, but instead I'm gonna focus on, you know, this is a four month review. I have a ton of footage to show you and clips uh, of a bunch of different styles of work and when I'm looking at a new camera or interested in a camera, the videos that I uh, tend to watch just sort of show its capabilities. So that's the goal here, um, and we're gonna get into it. The first thing I would like to call out is I just like the look of the camera. Uh, Lumix did a great job. They got rid of the white logo and they turned it black. So um, it's got a logo, you can see it, but from afar, it looks just like a blacked out camera, which is great because when I'm shooting on the streets of New York, I don't really want to draw attention to myself and sometimes logos can do that. I've mostly shot video with the S52X and when I was in Washington State, Condor Blue had a really cool handle that I was using that took a SanDisk Blade uh, SSD that you could pop in and you could shoot Apple ProRes directly to that, which was awesome and made uh, my post-life workflow really easy. I really love to rock a stripped down camera, so when I got home, I actually shelved the blade for uh, more serious projects when I would need that sort of boost in uh, post-editing work at the end. Um, and now I've just been running just the Lumix S5, as you saw it earlier. Um, just the lens, the 24 to 70, and the, the body. It's got a great instabilization system, um, so I can really just sort of show up. It's me and the camera, and for a lot of social media work, uh, that works out really well. It's not as intimidating to have a big camera, and I have found that I get kicked out of places less than when I'm rocking either my RED or my C300 or some of my bigger rigs, uh, so I really like that. The other thing I love about this camera is the colors. Now, uh, it's pretty widely known that Lumix and Leica have a partnership together. They share technologies, uh, and they share optics with each other, they share color science, and I have a Leica Q2. It was my go-to camera before this one. I took it everywhere uh, with me, and I have a lot of presets for that. So when I got the S52X and I brought started bringing in some of those RAW files, the Q2 presets worked exactly on it because the two files are very similar as far as color science goes, which is really cool. Um, and it just out of the box has really incredible colors, which I love to see in the photos. And I'll show you some examples here. So those are my thoughts on the S52X. I hope you got something out of this. Um, the, the biggest thing is basically, uh, I like this camera 90% of the time when I'm reaching to grab a camera to uh, go on a shoot. This is the one that my hand lands on. Now on a quick side note, I would like to thank everyone who's been following this channel as well as some of the new followers uh, recently. It looks like a lot of reels have been going viral and there's a lot more of you on this channel. Um, YouTube hasn't been much of a priority for me. Usually it's TikTok or real work directing commercials. 
Um, but a big goal for me going into 2024 is to get this channel up and running. So me and my team, we have a lot of really fun ideas in the uh, filmmaking space as well as some really fun just lifestyle New York City videos. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, I'm sure the content's not gonna change too much. Still be doing reels, still be doing my normal TikTok stuff, but uh, trying to bring in a little bit more insight into what it's like to be a commercial director here in New York City.